the Steelers uh, might have dropped a little bit of a hint on somebody they're not interested in at the in the first round of the NFL draft. They went to Alabama's Pro Day. That's a that's a yearly thing that happens all the time when it comes to Mike Tomlin and Omar Khan. That's a yearly stop. They're not going to miss Alabama's Pro Day. That ain't going to happen. That's like missing Clemson's. It's like missing Georgia's. It just ain't going to happen. And uh, they always take guys out to dinner. That's at this point, not big news. You know, when they go out to pro days, Mike Tomlin is the guy that's taking guys out to dinner. I, I think my favorite part of training camp is every year, Mike Tomlin and Omar Khan, they have dinner with a bunch of media members. You know, we, we go and we just have a, you know, it's not, it's nothing formal. You're just, you're just hanging out. You're, you're eating some good dinner, um, out in Latrobe. You're having a good time. You know, you're just kind of like you take those moments as media members and part of the the team, the coaching staff, the general manager, the, the owner sometimes. And, and you just kind of you have to have those those days where you connect, where you become like, hey, like we're hu- we're all humans. You know, I get it that we're on two sides of the, the platform here and there are times where you piss us off and we piss you off. But you have those moments where you kind of get together and just kind of bullshit. And every year, Tomlin has stories about going out to dinner and these and with these prospects and who stood out and you know who who was making jokes and who wasn't making jokes and who was ordering chicken wings and you know haha Odell Beckham Jr is a chicken tenders guy you know like it, you always get those and, and those are the best part i think some of the best parts of training camp this year who will not be on that list is a guy that i think a lot of people imagined would be a first round candidate for the Pittsburgh Steelers who probably still is a first round candidate for the Pittsburgh Steelers but it's very interesting that he was not a part of the Steelers Alabama Pro Day dinner that name is JC Latham offensive tackle guy that the Steelers met with at the NFL combined guy that a lot of people thought was really high on their list that could have been there with our Marius Mims who could have been there with Jackson Powers Johnson who if he was sitting there at 20 and, you know, he was he was a guy that the Steelers probably had their eye on that could probably I mean, there were there were arguments. There were people saying, hey, J.C. Latham would be a better pick than our Marius Mims. And it's hard to argue that because he's got the body of work. Instead, he didn't go out to dinner with Mike Tomlin, who did was Dallas Turner, who the Steelers have no shot at. So I don't understand why you're doing that one. Uh, Kool-Aid McKinstry, who very interesting name. And Terry on Arnold, another very interesting name, a name that I think if the Steelers have an opportunity to draft, they will draft. Kool-Aid, a little bit of a question mark, but Terry on Arnold, I think, would be very high on their list, and they don't think he's going to make it to them. Am I overthinking this? You know, J.C. Latham doesn't go to dinner with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, you look at all their draft picks. They take guys out that they sign 10 years later. You know, somebody right now is just is just talking about the the Minka, taking Minka out to dinner. They, they, they do the, hey, these guys, they're not going to be available for us now, but we're going to get to know them so that, you know, five, six years down the road, we have an idea who these guys are. To not take him out to dinner, I mean, does am I reading too far into this? I think it needs to be something taken into account, but it's also yeah. it's also April. It's smoke and mirrors season. It's it is. trying to hide who you're actually genuinely interested in and also trying to show people that you might be interested in this person even though you're not interested in taking them. So I don't know about him, whether or not he took a guy out to dinner also because you know, you never know. Something might have come up. It might not have been able on a good day for J.C. Latham, even though, you know, right now, every day should be a good day for J.C. Latham to go meet with NFL teams. But you don't know what happened in there. And also, again, it's it's smoke and mirror season. So something as minuscule as a as a pro day dinner, which I know it, it's not nothing, but something like that, I personally don't take into account, but I can see why others would. So I get that. I think that I think it does have to be. You know, it it, all, it it doesn't remove anybody from a draft board. Uh, I'll make that very like it doesn't remove J.C. Latham from a draft board. I do think that it makes it a very interesting argument when you're talking about a month from now when you're gathering it all and you're saying, hey, look at, you know, this is who they showed the most interest in. This is who they showed the least amount of interest in. I mean, he's not on that list or he's lower on that list. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that he's not a not a player that the Steelers will draft. I'm just saying that. At this point, like just like you said, there's there's this is not this is smoke and mirror season, but almost they almost do that in the opposite sense where they take the guys out to dinner and get the smoke and mirrors. You know, like this is the 
this, this is the we're taking too many guys out to dinner. We're we're making you think that maybe Dallas Turner's on our list, you know. But at the same time, J.C. Latham is the guy that we really wanted to talk to at this dinner. You know, you took Broderick Jones out, but you took every other Georgia guy out a year ago. You took every Alabama corner out at this point. Like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think that I, I think it's something to read into. Don't read into it too much, but I think it's something to read into. And if we were doing the draft today and making our big board and as we get closer to the NFL draft, we'll, we'll do that. You know, like our draft special will run through. This is our big board for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I just don't I think J.C. Latham's going to be much lower on that list than I think he would have been. Right now, I think that one's very interesting who they took out to dinner. I think like I'm more interested in who they took out to dinner than I am. Who was at the actual pro day because, you know, Tomlin only makes a couple of stops and those guys are names to remember. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I think it's uh, I think it's somewhat, somewhat interesting. I'm going to say that him going to dinner with uh, Kool-Aid McKinstry is also very interesting because I didn't think he was a name. I thought he was a name that would be on their radar, but I don't think he was a name that I was going to take very seriously. I think the Steelers have some interest in him. Terry on Arnold, I think, is if you were going to name one Alabama product to go to the Pittsburgh Steelers, I think Terry on Arnold is my new favorite. I do. I do. I uh that's my that's my outlook on it. 